Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Listen up, pal. What are the top 10 rude estates in America? Well, that's what we're going to be counting down in today's video. So pipe down, buckle up, and get ready to watch. Got it? Good. We all know rude when we see it, but is there a way to quantify it and actually calculate what are the rudest states? Well, that's what I've tried to do for you in coming up with this list, and here's the factors that we used. First, we looked at rude drivers, because road rage is a thing. But we can move beyond anecdotal evidence and look at things like violations for things like failure to yield, passing where prohibited, street racing, and even hit and runs. We also looked at, and I think this was a good one, the average tip percentage, which as an unenforced social custom, if you don't at least do the bare minimum, that's pretty rude, especially to the servers who try and make your day a little better delivering your omelet and hash browns. We also looked at data from customer service call centers, whom can be frustrating and rude themselves, and looked at how many times people cursed at the agents. And finally, we looked at two different polls, one where people gave their opinion on what states they thought were rude, and also a poll where citizens from that state self-identified on how rude they thought their state was. And then we mashed it all together and came up with this list of the 10 rudest states, and there are a couple that surprised me. So let's get moving. Number 10, Ohio. This was the first one that surprised me. I mean, it's Ohio. It's the Midwest. It's supposed to be all friendly and neighborly, but it turns out they're pretty rude. Apparently, in Ohio, it's okay to be a saint in the pews, but a little satany in the parking lot and basically anywhere along the roads. On the other hand, Ohio is our top tipper on the list with an average tip percentage of 16.7%. So they do have that going for them. Number nine, Illinois. Illinois is actually a little conflicted. Once you get outside of Chicago and into the suburbs and rural areas of Illinois, the people seem to share that Midwestern stereotype of generally friendly folk. But once you step foot into Chicago, things get a little more dicey. In fact, if you ask most people around the country, I'd bet most only associate Illinois with Chicago and not the burbs. And why more than 22% of respondents rank the entire state as one of the rudest states in the country. Number eight, Utah. Say what? Utah makes the list of rudest states? I know that when I think of Utah, rude isn't the first thing that goes through my mind. But yep, they sure do make the list. But why? In person, yes, the people from Utah seem to be the clean cut, mild mannered individuals that you would expect. But when you're not face to face or eye to eye with them, the people from Utah seem to be hell bent on being keyboard cowboys and phone Frankensteins, as they come as one of the biggest cursors to call center workers on the entire list. I guess all that pent up rage has to make its way out somewhere. And what better place than to a nameless, faceless person on the phone in the Philippines? I'm sure Joseph Smith would be proud. But they are pretty decent tippers coming in just behind Ohio. Number seven, New Jersey. Well, this one seems like a no-brainer. I'm just surprised that they aren't higher on the list. New Jersey has a lot of things in the state, including Atlantic City, hairspray, fake tans, gabagoo, and mozzarella. Oh yeah, and trash. But it appears that one thing that is truly missing from New Jersey are basic manners. A whopping 34% of the poll respondents say New Jersey residents are completely missing this basic fundamental skill. I guess that's one thing that doesn't get taught in the New Jersey school system. They're also cheap. Well, at least when it comes to tipping. 
averaging just a bare minimum 15.5%. Number six, Washington State. Gloomy skies and rain for more than half the days of the year certainly hasn't done anything to improve the mood and optimism of the residents of Washington, as they come in as our sixth rudest state in the country. Sure, their tips aren't too horrible coming in at 16.3%, but what would you expect with all those Microsoft millionaires and Boeing brass making up a big percentage of those that eat out a lot? But get behind the wheel here, and it's a different story, as apparently the rules of the road are for thee and not for me. Washington drivers rank almost double the national average for citations for failure to yield, passing where prohibited, street racing, and even hit and runs. And if there were one for middle fingers, I'm sure they would be tops there as well. Speaking of fingers, now would be a great time for you to use yours to hit that subscribe button right there. But I digress. Number five, California. Superficially, California has it all. Beautiful weather, beautiful beaches, Disneyland and entertainment galore. But like most things in California, once you start to peel the onion, it gets a little stinky. Let's start with the drivers. This is one time when the stereotype actually fits. They just plain suck. I'm not sure if it's because there's just too many of them on the road, they're angry about it taking an hour to make it 15 miles on the 405, or they're simply ruminating on the fact that you need to make double the national average income in order to live an average life in the state, almost $120,000 a year. But the frustration is definitely palpable anytime you get behind the wheel here. And while there are professional sports teams galore in the state, it seems the biggest sport for the common person is navigating the roads without getting hit either by another car or by the driver of another car in a fit of road rage. On top of that, Californians are also even cheaper than the folks from New Jersey when it comes to tipping. It's so bad, even 27% of Californians admit that their state is one of the rudest states in the country. Number four, New York. Similar to our number seven, New Jersey, the only surprise about this one is that New York isn't our number one. Come on, New York, I thought you were tough. You can get ruder than this. Listen to me, we don't talk like that, we don't say things like that, you understand? Do you understand? Okay, sorry. Forget about it. So and as you can imagine, New Yorkers are right up there for cussing out call center workers. But this should come as no surprise, since unnamed sources have told me that in the public school system, the F-bomb is taught as one of the most important adjectives in a person's vocabulary. And if you've tried driving through Manhattan, well, basically any time of the day, you understand that there are no rules except to make it to where you're trying to get. It's basically like driving through Tijuana or Rome, except with taller buildings and more loud mouths and horns. Hey, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Up your ass, you get son of a bitch, you don't talk me that way, get out of here. I'm also starting to notice a pattern when it comes to tipping as well. The more prosperous a state appears, the cheaper its residents are when it comes to actually giving out that money to the servers who are trying to make your life a little better as you wine and dine. And New York is just as chintzy, tipping an average of 15.6%. Number three, Virginia. If the saying, you are what you eat is true, then maybe for Virginia, we should mix it up and say, you are where you work. And as a huge percentage of the residents of Virginia are employed by the swampy government, I guess it just makes sense that their attitudes are pretty swampy as well. Think of the last time you got anybody at the DMV to move faster than the sloth in Zootopia. But 
to make sure you punch in on time and when your shift is done to get out of there as fast as possible, then you'll understand why Virginia drivers are some of the rudest in the country. And they top the list for tickets given for tailgating and passing illegally. Karen, you will not beat me to that box of donuts in the lunchroom. On the other hand, Virginians are a bit more generous with their tips and really appreciate you bringing that blooming onion and martini after a hard day at the Politburo and tip out at a rate of 16%. Number two, Massachusetts. With a median home price of over $700,000 and the cost of everything through the roof in most of Massachusetts, I'm talking to you, Boston, it's no wonder that Massachusetts is the second worst tipping state in the country, coming in at 15% right on the button. Second only to the even more expensive state, Hawaii, at 14.8%. Hey, but at least they have that aloha spirit and live on an island paradise. Alas, not so in Massachusetts. But tipping isn't the only thing that puts them this high on the list. They also can't drive for, well, beans. You know, Boston is called Bean Town, Boston Baked Beans. All right, they all can't be winners. But having gone to law school here, I can vouch firsthand that driving on the turnpike is actually considered a blood sport. It can get worse than a Bruins game, with them having missed the playoffs and just plain peed off about everything in life. And of course, whether you're a Southie or a Blue Blood tracing your roots to the Mayflower, the F word is just another part of life. Just ask the customer service call centers. But it does come out kind of cool with their accent. I ate his level with some fava beans and a nice Chiani. I don't think anyone knew what you just said. And finally, our number one rudest state in the country, Rhode Island. Rhode Island? I mean, who knew or would have guessed that this state out of all 50 would be the rudest? But alas, here we are. But why? When I conjure up thoughts of Rhode Island, my mind drifts to a slower pace of life. Lighthouses, a fisherman on his boat in the harbor wearing a yellow raincoat and chomping down on a corncob pipe. You know, some real salt of the earth, Gorton fisherman vibe, traditional folks. Maybe that's it. It's that salt of the earth life, independent and self-sufficient attitude that just speaks differently than the rest of the country who has become maybe a little soft and we just take it as rude. And Rhode Islanders don't apologize for it either. 42% of them rate their state as being significantly more rude than the rest of the country. I guess they just tell it like it is and let the chips fall where they do. Now that you have the list of the 10 rudest states in America, it's time for you to check out the next video with the 10 states everyone is moving to in America. And be sure to hit subscribe to learn more about our amazing country. And remember, we're all in this together. The Relocation King, out.